This channel is now officially a year old. July 5th marks exactly one year since I posted my very first video on this channel. We are currently at 128 subscribers. Honestly, I'm not gonna say it feels unreal, but I never thought we'd get this far. So thank you so much for actually like showing an interest in what I do because it's a lot of fun. And posting videos on this channel has meant a lot to me as well. So for this little anniversary, I thought I'd do like a little review of BotPress so far, considering it's kind of what my channel is built on. Now, I am like a, a BotPress ambassador, but I feel like there's a lot of things that I should tell you guys about it before you just jump in and make it your main tool. Because as great as BotPress can be, it also has a lot of downsides. It doesn't actually have that many downsides, it's just one major downside. Now, I think the software is great, but there are a lot of things that do not sit right with me. So as highly as I think of the software, I'm gonna tell you about them. Bugs. There is a plethora of bugs, and not just bugs that can be slightly annoying, bugs that can completely stop your workflow. All right, so let's start at the very first bug that BotPress really frustrated me with. It was a login error bug. Basically what would happen, you would try to sign in, and it would just say login error occurred. It still happens on the odd occasion today but it's not a problem anymore and that would mean you could not work at all you could not sign into your account you were literally stuck this could be for a few minutes this could be for a few hours i think the worst case it ever was it was for two days for two days you could not work now they fixed it i think somewhere i think it was maybe november last year they fixed it so it's not a problem anymore but for four months on and off you were literally locked out of your account for you don't know how long then later that year we had a table card bug meaning that for something like the find records card it literally just wouldn't work. Now that is pretty specific. However, just a small bug like that has the potential to stop the entire functionality of a one bot. And at the moment, there's another bug, the array variable bug, where for some reason, when I was working on the turbo bot that I made a video on, for some reason, arrays just weren't working. And I haven't checked since, but I'm pretty sure they're still not working. Now, a new bug as of the past few weeks is that every single variable is called a string. This is very frustrating when you're troubleshooting a problem and every single one of your variables is a string, even though it's not a string, they all just are labeled as strings. Now, I'd love to say that these bugs just make my life difficult, but it doesn't just make my life difficult in building bots. I run a business in AI chatbot development, meaning that if something goes wrong on BotPress's end and it stops the functionality of my bots, it comes down on me from a client. I remember one morning I got an email from a client that I literally signed a week ago and the bot that I built them stopped working entirely. It was working just perfectly when I sold it to them. I made sure of it. I got an email saying that my bot is not working and they're concerned about it. I log on, gracefully I was able to log on, and when I checked that out, nothing was wrong. Wrong. My code, my cards, nothing changed, nothing was showing errors, nothing. Around about that time is when the table card bug became a thing. I looked at my cards, I looked at my code, everything was supposed to work fine. But because of some unique bug, it didn't. I sat there and I realized that there's nothing I can do. It's not something that I can fix. It's not because of my own incompetency. It's because BotPress made a mistake. And now I have to explain to my clients why their bots are not working. Bots that they paid good money to have developed and implemented. And then I have to come to them and say, sorry, your bots are not working because they're just not working. It's happened about three times where a bot that I have been paid to develop has stopped functionality. This has made me and my business look very unprofessional. They've also implemented changes and updates which really just weren't that good. For example, the biggest one that stands out to me is this um, auto save, automatic auto save thing, where the bot will auto save after every single thing that you do. Now, BotPress always had an auto save feature, but somewhere last year they updated it where basically that auto save can like be canceled and you can lose work that you just did. The place where this happens the most often is in execute code cards. Like you work, you code, maybe for like 30 minutes you're buddy coding, you exit out and you do something else too quickly, it cancels that auto save and now you lost everything. As someone who works really fast, I have lost quite a bit of work like this. Now in a recent update, it's been much better. So it's, it's not that big of a problem anymore. It's just an example of an update that really didn't do us any favors, but they still kept it. Now, even though it sounds like I have 101 bad things to say about BotPress, I have 200 good things I can say about BotPress as well. The first thing is, is just support. There is a plethora of support out there. They have the YouTube channel, they have the ambassador program that I'm a part of, they have the Discord community, there's just so many things and people that you can talk to if you ever get stuck or you need to learn more about BotPress. I often compare BotPress to Lego blocks. Like anything that you can imagine within reason, you can build with Lego. And that is what BotPress is like. BotPress is just one of a kind when it comes to 
complexity and like ease of use it has this this beautiful blend actually i think i'm gonna do like an illustration here, okay so let's say that we have a depth scale depth just meaning like what you can build with the software so on the far right you have like custom chatbot build from scratch you need to learn python you need to learn html css javascript maybe you need to learn how to create vector stores memory training a uh, custom tooling then you need to host the bot somewhere and then it, it costs money and it's very difficult. Then on the far left, you have something like custom GPT, where you just give them the knowledge base and everything else is done for you. Very little customization, pretty much nothing you can do about it other than just give it a knowledge base. Now let's say we have like an ease of use scale, far left being very easy to understand and quick to learn, and then far right being hard to learn and slow to use. Meaning that even if you wanna build something basic, it's gonna take a long time. Custom GPT would be far left and then custom chatbot building would be far right. On the depth scale, BotPress falls very close to custom chatbot building the freedom and the potential of what you can build with botpress is it's just massive however on the ease of use scale it falls around about in the middle more towards custom gpt side the ceiling and the depth of botpress is just it's incredible for how easy it is to use some of my bot building friends on linkedin they use voice flow if you were to compare like the maximum capability of the two bots that we can build with a different software mine will always be more complex and more intricate and more impressive than a voice flow one will be because i just have more tools to use so for experts it has enough depth to build something intricate but for beginners it's still pretty easy to get started new bot builders need to make a decision when they get started what software are you going to build your bots with and at the moment their decisions are not really that great the two main Main competitors in bot building is VoiceFlow and BotPress and VoiceFlow is just like so far left and BotPress is so far right and if a beginner like someone who knows nothing about code nothing about AI picks up BotPress they are going to struggle I know that because I started with BotPress I never bothered with VoiceFlow or any other software just BotPress from the start it is just still very difficult to understand but these days BotPress is advancing it's more tutorials it's a better server it's more ambassadors it's not perfect and I think there are better strategies that they can implement to make it even easier for beginners however from an objective standpoint botpress is just better if you actually put in the time to learn botpress from the start instead of something like voiceflow botpress just gives you infinitely more freedom all that being said though i still think botpress is the best software for ai chatbot and normal chatbot building just because of how much gets taken care of by botpress alone but i could talk for a whole video about all that thank you so much for watching this one year anniversary video it's been amazing. I've got a lot of cool stuff planned for this next year as well. Thank you so much for supporting this channel for a full year. I'll see you in the next video.